Hey guys, welcome to my bathroom again. Today I am going to be trying to remove some dye run from a dress that I have and I thought I would take you along for the ride. We're going to be using this chemical called Synthrapol. Uh, you can buy it online. It's a really nifty little tool to have if you clean and wear a lot of vintage. Um, if you watched, watched my first video that I made, I used Synthrapol as a way to prevent dye run from happening. I was washing a white dress that had a lot of colored embroidery on it. Today, I'm going to use it as a way to try to remove dye run that's already occurred in a dress that was washed. So you can use it two ways. Um, it's a pretty handy little thing to have around. So let's go. All right, so here's the dress that we're going to be washing. For some reason, red dyes seem to run a lot more than other colors. So this dress um, has some red dye. I don't know if you can see it. It's like kind of, it's a lot worse in person, but it's kind of coming through the white here. And then the underarms have some dye run too. It's not as bad on that side, but it's definitely coming through. I actually bought the dress like this. I didn't realize that it had dye run. Usually when I use Synthropol, it's something that I have personally ruined while washing and I'm trying to fix it. So it's a little bit uh, of a more of a crapshoot when I'm doing it this way because I don't know how long the dye has been sitting there. I don't really know what happened when it was washed, but let's give it a shot and see what happens. So the key with using Synthrapol is that you have to use super, super hot water, um, which seems kind of strange because usually you think um, cold water prevents dye run, but there's something about uh, the chemical being activated by hot water. So this is super, super hot water. I usually will let my kitchen faucet run for a while, get the water really hot, fill it up. Feels strange the first time you do it and a little scary, but you just gotta go for it. So I'm just gonna put a glug of Synthrapol in. There are measurements on the back to tell you how much to use, but precision is not my strong suit, so I usually just wing it a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to put a tiny bit of OxyClean in just because the dress itself is a little dingy. So kill two birds with one stone. So once that's in there, I'm gonna grab the dress. All right, dunking the dress in. I'm gonna use this little hanger to push it in and swish it around because the water's really hot. I don't want to touch it. And the Synthrapol is a pretty strong chemical, so I don't want to touch it there. So I'm just gonna leave it in here for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or so. You don't need to leave it in for a super long time. It kind of, if it's working, it usually starts to work. You can see the dye coming off the fabric pretty quickly, so you don't need to leave it in for like hours or anything. So I'm just gonna let this go for like 20 minutes. All right, well, it's looking pretty good. So I took it out. I actually ended up leaving it in for about an hour, um, longer than I initially said, because the stains were coming out, but I wanted to just give it a little extra time. So I'm gonna rinse it out now. I think I mentioned this before, but um, just when you're rinsing out synth Synthrapol, it's really bubbly and foamy. You can kind of see there's all these bubbles. So you just have to give it like extra rinse time, really rinse it thoroughly to make sure all the chemical has been rinsed out of the fabric. All right, here she is all cleaned and rinsed. I'm gonna hang it outside. I always say if you have somewhere outside in the fresh air to hang your vintage, it just gets it a little bit brighter and fresher, I think. So I'm in Brooklyn, I'm on Lines of My Fire Escape. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the finished product when she's all dry. All right, here is the dress, all cleaned, steamed out, and as you can see, no dye run, yay. So another super fall success. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you liked it and what other kind of cleaning tips and tricks you'd like to see. Thanks so much.